So, how good are you guys at memory match games? I'm okay, I guess. And yeah, two Jinjos right up there. That's the only uh, easily rememberable freebie that uh, I can get. Because otherwise, I don't think there's any trick to uh, finding the rest. They're all really well shuffled together. It's not like in Mario 3 where every single possible puzzle ended with the Mushroom Flower Star, which I believe I mentioned in um, my Mario 3 LP, but I'm repeating it, you know, just in case some of you haven't seen that LP of mine. Oh, I'm not doing too good uh, right now. Okay, now uh, we're, we're doing a bit better. Banjo, I believe, is there. All right. We're moving on. We're moving on. And now is the time to suck at this because I might have to redo it later with a more strict uh, time limit. I say might. I don't know what I'll be called to do at that point in the game, but this is one of the possibilities. So, now we got it. 32 seconds left, and here we go. Another Jiggy for the Taken! So, I believe that uh, there's only one area that we haven't checked out at this point, and it's the main pyramid in the, in the center that uh, you had to uh, make emerge from the center by shooting eggs at those uh, moving heads uh, near the middle of uh, the level. So let's head over there, and... Um, you know how this level was filled with, with insanely strict time limits? Well, this one's nothing like that. Um, you're going to be running around like crazy in a maze, but uh, you have a lot of time to finish it if you know what to do. Uh, yeah, King Sandy Butts, too. With a name like that, I would probably want to be dead, too. So you have one minute to go around the maze, and whoop! That wasn't the way to go. Uh, if you want to, uh, you want to head over there in order to be able to press the witch switch, which is going to uh, make uh, a jiggy appear in Gruntilda's lair, or it's going to make that uh, sarcophagus uh, open, whichever, uh, <laughs> whichever happens. So uh, from here, you just want to head to the exit and. Uh, I will admit that doing both on the same run can be a bit tricky if you don't know uh, what to do. Fortunately, I've played this game enough that uh, I know where to go. It's not like uh, those uh, first-person shooters in Banjo-Tooie that are much larger and therefore a lot more complicated. And here we go! 16 seconds left on the clock! Now, am I going to reach 100 or... Okay, I'm not going to have to look for a stray note that I forgot to pick up for some reason. So, we got another Jiggy in there, but you definitely want to check the pots as well. Here we got a gold feather, which is going to make up for the one I used uh, at the end of the last video. Last Mumbo token in the Gobi's Valley. And, um... Hold on a second, how come I didn't... Okay, I was wondering if the, gla if the game was going to glitch out on me or something, and... Wow, what a nice place to be making that little dance. Uh, <laughs> a pot where you really don't have that much room. But yeah, I was sort of wondering if the game was going to glitch out and deny me of that Jiggy. You know, when I got into that pot and he wasn't picking up the Jiggy, I was like, No. No, you can't be serious. But fortunately, that wasn't the case. So yeah, we avoided a little crisis here. I guess I could have you I could have reloaded my save state if things went really, really wrong. But then again, there are some of those glitches that um, save states can't really fix. Uh, so yeah, I'm just not complaining that. <laughs> that the game decided to not glitch out on me. Anyway, we are completely done with Gobi's Valley, so we can head back to Gruntilla's Lair and unlock the and unlock the way to the next world now that we have enough notes to do so. And yeah, I just wanted to make sure that um, I had every Mumbo token in Gobi's Valley, which turns out to be the case. There uh, are only 10 in Gobi's Valley, so I'm supposed to have... Uh, 26 in total. Now, let's grab this Jiggy over there. As I said earlier on, you could glitch your way to, to it um, if you're good enough at the game, which I'm not. Oh god, not a mummy. Don't force me to use a gold feather here. And another one. Uh-oh. Come on. Okay. I missed my chance. Just... Okay, fine. I'm just going to disable you. Even though it 
pops right back up after a couple seconds. Oh, I missed! Ah, uh, this freaking mummy, man! I'm just so annoying. Okay, from this camera angle, I should be able to do better. Alright, nice dodging there, and... Uh, yeah, I got it! <laughs> that was some pretty cool dodging of that mummy there. Okay, so, now that this is done, we can head over to... I believe I already showed you where uh, the node that required 450 notes was. It's right up there, right before one of the, one of the, one of the two cauldrons that are located in this room. So here we go, another note door opened, and I gotta say, I'm quite pleased with the progress I'm making in this LP. It really feels like it's going by faster, of course, since uh, my Pokémon LPs are now uh, over. I don't have anything else to, you know, um, uh, delay production on these videos anymore. Now, this room, uh, you wanna, first you wanna go and pick up that mumbo token over there. This room has the entrance to the hardest level in the game. Fortunately, it's not the next one, but the one after that, so I won't have to worry about this frustrating train wreck of a level. But for the time being, I'm going to uh, just blitz past this room and head into the next one, which has uh, the puzzle for the next level, which is called Mad Monster Mansion. As you might expect from the name, it's, uh, well, it's a haunted mansion. It's Big Boo's haunt on steroids. Even, you know, when you first enter the level, you immediately think, Wow, you can't get much more blatant of a Big Boo's Haunt ripoff than that, but if you explore around a little, you're gonna notice that uh, there's more to it than just looking like Big Boo's Haunt. So, uh, remember uh, when we got the first secret egg, we had to uh, do this uh, out and back in kind of jump? Well, uh... As I said before, we're gonna have to do this a lot uh, in this game, especially in the later stages. Uh, for now, it's not too bad. The stakes aren't too high. But when you do that and you fuck up and you fuck up and you fall down an entire level because of that, uh, it's frustrating. So uh, right here, a mumbo token that is—I'd say it's rather easy to miss, actually, if you don't uh, think that there's something beyond. Uh, beyond the puzzle, but uh, fortunately I knew about it. This is a 100% run, so I'm expected to know about it. Uh, anyway, now we're just um, going to be heading back to um, the uh, entrance to Mad Monster Mansion, which I don't think we've been in that general area just yet, because I believe that we only went as far as the puzzle to uh, Gobi's Valley, and I said uh, back then that uh, there's nothing of interest past that puzzle, and, we're, and we were going to revisit it later. Well, the time has finally come for us to do just that, so just going to head back out the same way I came, then head back over to the puzzle to Gobi's Valley. Now I know what you're thinking, and yes, this lair is freaking complex as hell. Peach's Castle from Mario 64 had nothing on this place. This is really a bona fide maze where you really have to explore every nook and cranny to try and find something to do if you, uh, if you, especially if it's your first time playing the game. It actually took me a couple playthroughs to really uh, get me familiarized with that place, with the lay of the land. And uh, here we go, we made it to the graveyard that holds the, the entrance to Mad Monster Mansion. Next world is the hardest yet. Well, I... I would think it's quite accurate. Uh, first things first, though, you really want to smash that door first before entering. Trust me, you will be sorry if you don't. Now that that's done, we can actually enter Mad Monster Mansion proper. And as I said, looks an awful lot like Big Boo's Haunt from this angle. Just going to pick up those notes, then I'm going to show you why it's not exactly what uh, you'd expect out of a big booze of a big booze haunt copy like that. 
Of course, we got that. Can be killed for energy. No, I didn't want to pick it up, but oh well, doesn't matter. So uh, we can't really. D I don't really want to go left for now because I want to keep it for later. You'll see why. I guess in a future video. I'm not ready to uh, make another mad dash of death quite yet, especially when the way hasn't been opened. So we got some notes. By the way, the water in that fountain is poisonous. You don't want to fall in unless you got uh, Mumbo's transformation for this world. Um, I'm just gonna pick up those eggs since, as you can see, I'm not quite a cat there just yet. Okay, so that's it now for one of the best hidden Mumbo tokens in the game. You see that uh, moving tree branch thingy? You want to have three eggs, hit it, and then that's going to destroy this thing, revealing a mumbo token. I'm just going to head in there, and yes, I said that, that it did damage, but there was a honeycomb there anyway, so no problem. Let's grab this Jinjo, and get out of this area. I guess we're going to continue on the uh, outskirts of the Haunted Mansion, I believe there is. Yep, there's a mumbo token here. Now, there's another gate. Oh, you! Stop bothering me! Okay, here we go. So, this door, I guess, can only be opened from the other side, so... Let's head to the other side, I guess. And if you're wondering why I'm not uh, entering the mansion as of yet, it's just a matter of, you know, being organized and trying to uh, grab everything and just not go willy-nilly all over the place and forget things just because I'm in a mad rush to try and get somewhere. And besides, going going in through the front entrance really would accomplish absolutely nothing, and... Oh god, I'm being comboed by the skeleton! Ugh. For that, you're, you're gonna pay! Okay, now, let's head up there. And hurry up and uh, switch to Kazooie. You don't have much time to do this, else uh, Banjo's go just going to start sliding off uh, the top of that building now. I believe we have uh, the um, other path leading to that gate from earlier on. Here we go. The way is now open. Now, this. Um, we got a, a bunch of... Uh, Hold on a second, I hear some waiting boots, but, uh, oh, they gotta be over there, probably. Now, um, I'm not exactly sure, uh, Mumbo's transformation is going to get me to these platforms, so I'm not gonna take any chances, and I'm going to, um, get those notes that are over there. Just, just, just to make sure you know that I don't have to transform a kajillion times uh, later on. So the waiting boots are over there. So when I want to make to make my way back to where I was before, uh, I'm going. I'm going to do so with the waiting with the waiting boots. I'm not going to take my chances with that uh, shock spring pad in uh, in case that I miss the jump completely and end up uh, in the poisonous water and take massive damage from it. There's nothing in that direction. I'm not... Uh, of course, I'm still missing a few eggs, but I'm not about to sacrifice uh, some serious health for two eggs. That's that's just crazy, so I'm just gonna head back and uh, get the waiting boots. And by the way, you may have noticed that we have picked up quite a lot of mumbo tokens so early in this world. It's because this world has actually has 15 um, mumbo tokens. The previous ones had either 5 or 10, but this is the, the first one that actually has 15. So if it seems like uh, we're getting a lot of these um, mumbo tokens, it's because there are indeed a lot. Now don't worry, there is something in the well, but we're just going to take care of that much later once I actually get the transformation. Anyway, in this building, look at what we got here! It's a Ouija board! And a few notes that I'm going to pick up. Now, just looking at those letters, you gotta have a pretty good idea of what I'm supposed to spell out. It's totally adult anime! But all joking aside, next time, we're going to play paranormal bullshit no one should ever believe in, but people believe in it because they're just that gullible. Seriously, we just just bullshit.